You may currently know him as Jack Sheridan from the hit TV show Virgin River, but there's a whole lot more to the actor than you might know. But first, let's dig into a little history. Who exactly is Martin Henderson? The actor is actually from New Zealand and has been a total hit on Virgin River, which should come as no surprise, since I just love Jack. The 47-year-old star opened up about his experience on the show and claimed that the response has been really nice. While the show itself is a total cultural phenomenon, did you know that Henderson has been in a ton of other TV shows and movies? He's played roles in a variety of genres, some that might even take you completely by surprise. One of Henderson's first ever projects was an Australian soap opera. The actor took on the role of Jeff Thomas in the TV show Home and Away, which ran for quite a long time in the Gold Coast. Then in 2002, he was featured in the horror movie that I'm sure you all remember. You know, the one where the girl has that freakishly long hair but no face? Yep, we're talking about The Ring. He and Naomi Watts both starred in the mystery horror. That's basically a household name if you grew up in the 90s. Fun fact, Henderson claims that he didn't have to audition for that part, but that's not even the most surprising fact about his career. About two years later, get ready for this, he landed an unforgettable cameo in one of the most most iconic music videos of all time. Can you guess which one we're talking about? Well, it was for Britney Spears' music video, Toxic. That's right, the actor starred opposite one of my favorite singers of all time for her 2003 music video that's no less than one of the most widely recognized pop culture icons. He first appears in the video, fully giving us Christian Grey as he greets Spears in a rather chic suit. The actor confirmed his audacious role in the video when news about Britney trying to end her abusive conservatorship first broke out. He stated that Spears is a genuinely lovely person and felt that much of what was happening to her had been a result of her being constantly hounded by the press. But perhaps one of his most well-known roles before Virgin River was a two-year stint that he spent as Meredith's new love interest, Dr. Nathan Riggs. Now, not many people know, but Dr. Meredith Grey wasn't entirely too happy with this scenario. Yep, Martin Henderson replacing Patrick Dempsey did not sit well with Ellen Pompeo at all. Meredith and Derek were in a romance that the fans hoped would last till the end of time. Unfortunately for Grey's Anatomy fans, Patrick had to exit the show and the showrunners decided to replace him with Martin Henderson. Now, Ellen was reportedly angry over the fact that Patrick was this easily replaceable and that the ink was barely dry on his exit papers, so to speak, before they already found a new guy. She was especially angered by the casting team who kept sending her pictures of several male actors to get her opinion while she was on vacation. Well, that's not exactly the worst thing to happen, Ellen. Getting pictures of hot actors while you're sipping cocktails on the beach? I mean, surely there are more awful things that could happen, right? Awful things like Henderson's mom finding out he's not planning on pursuing his education further. Yep, the Virgin River actor simply refused to go to university. For primary school, he went to Birkenhead Primary and later went to Westlake Boys High School in Forest Hill, Auckland. During his formative years, he developed an interest in rugby and went on to play for his high school team. The actor then turned down the prospect of going to university since he was apparently not interested in knowledge or graduating college. Okay, that's a first. He chose not to attend graduate school and decided to pursue acting instead. Well, I'm kinda glad he made that decision at that time, because how else would I have found the man of my dreams in 2003 without his toxic cameo? Speaking of cameos, Henderson started acting when he was only 13 years old. Thanks to his role in the TV series, Shortland Street, he was a local star between 1992 and 1995. Pretty cool, right? He also starred in several Australian productions like Echo Point and eventually moved to the United States in 1997 to start a career in Hollywood. Of course, when Martin first moved to the US, things were rather difficult for him. Naturally, moving to a new place, a totally different country, left him broke. And he used to sleep on the couch with friends 
friends who would let him crash. Yikes. He kept facing rejection for roles, and his father urged him to reconsider moving back home, where he was already an established actor. There were acting gigs just waiting for him back home, but the actor felt he was getting too comfortable in that life and wanted a new challenge to focus on. Moving to the US was definitely a challenge and a half, and he might have given up completely had it not been for one reason. The Torque actor ended up becoming roommates with Heath Ledger. Now, Heath Ledger, upon meeting Henderson, not only lent him money to survive, but also opened up his home, where they lived as roommates together. Imagine that. Eventually, Ledger's incredible success soon became a motivating factor for Henderson, who decided to stay in the country. After facing several doom and gloom scenarios, Henderson thought he might have a chance with his acting career in Hollywood too. But after the Wuthering Heights actor died of a drug overdose, Henderson was shaken to his very core. He began to wonder what he was doing with his life. Heath's death was such a huge blow for Martin, who thought the actor had everything going for him and his future had seemed so bright. He even left the US and went to Australia to rethink all the decisions in his life. But Henderson knew he was born to be an actor, so he went back to Los Angeles, which has now been his home for more than two decades now. But he didn't get any roles for an entire year after he moved to the US. Despite being a seasoned actor, he ended up at the Neighborhood Playhouse for the next two years to study acting. Eventually, in 2005, he landed a role in Bride and Prejudice, and then Little Fish, both of which ended up winning awards. But other than acting, you might be shocked to know this fun little tidbit about the actor. He's quite an accomplished baker. Recently, Henderson started a cooking show on his Instagram page, where he shares several cooking videos with his followers. Naturally, he's showing off some rather crazy good cooking skills. No, I'm not jealous at all. He's been seen cooking some incredible delicacies, and a recent video even showed him having fun with his Virgin River co-star. The show has fans completely hooked, and we're not even surprised surprised why. It's actually better than some of those Food Network shows. I mean, Martin Henderson cooking in his kitchen at home? What else do you need? And the actor has even shared some pretty great recipes, like how to make a sourdough loaf and blueberry cornmeal cake. A man who's good looking and knows how to bake a blueberry cornmeal cake? Where do I find someone like that? Well, these were some of the things you might not have known about Martin Henderson. See you in the next video.